All right, guys, I am live right now. I'm live right now, and uh, I hope we're going to have some people that are going to join me. Of course, I'm looking at myself on the screen there, which is kind of interesting because this is, again, my first time doing a live on YouTube. So far, there's nobody in the room, but that is okay. The whole point of this live is essentially to show you guys and give you a first impression in real time of this right here, which is the biggest discovery kit I ever got in my life, and by far one of the coolest discovery kits I ever got. So, first things first, I gotta turn around real quick, grab my iPad, because in this iPad is my cheat sheet for all the fragrances that I'm about to experience in real time. So there's two people that are joined in. Uh, I don't know if I could see the comments, but if there are comments, I, I don't know if I can see them, but that's okay. Um, let me see if I could see comments. Let's see. Uh, let's see, live chat, all messages are visible. Top chat, some messages, some potential spam may not be visible. Let's leave the live chat on. Um, just want to try this out, but I, I haven't seen any messages pop up, so I don't know if anybody's writing in any way. So uh, if, if you're here and you're joining me, thank you. Uh, let me know somewhere that you're watching or something and let me know who you are. So do I just stick on your YouTube page for, the, for your live? Yes. Yeah, you just go to my YouTube page and you'll see that I'm broadcasting live and you click on that. Yes, you click on that and check it out. Okay, good. So here we go, I've got my cheat sheet. Uh, real quick, I want to show you this box. So again, this is Alhambra Perfumes. This is a new house out of Dubai. Uh, they're working their way into the United States, which is amazing. And I want to just show you real quick. Oh, they did send me test trips. Um, this is what's inside. And so I'm going to go through each one of these real quick. All right. All right, awesome, guys. See, I can see your comments now. Very, very cool. Good to see them, yes. Awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna be doing a live first impression of all 16 of these fragrances. So uh, I hope you guys can stick around for this because I am super excited about this. So um, I just looked inside and it looks like they provided the test strips so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So yeah, that's dope indeed. I mean, this is by far the most impressive discovery set. I've How much was it? I don't know yet. And I actually don't even know what the price points are on any one of these. This is such a new house. So I'm experiencing this for the first time with you. They made this kit specifically for the PR, for the folks who do reviews and things like that. So this is probably a not for resale kit. Uh, just a real explanation of what's in here. This is Bakur. So what's in here is actually highly concentrated uh, incense that you'd burn on there. So those round things in there, what are they those for? So just getting ready to tell you, these right here, this is a Bakur. Uh, so what you do is you burn, you burn this like you do incense in a, on a Bakur brick. Uh, like you light, the brick is basically flaming hot and you put this on there and it burns like incense. So really, really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do these in the order that they appear on my cheat sheet. So again, this is the, this is the cheat sheet. Just real quick, I want to show you, sorry about the reflection. You could see my lighting, but you could see what these bottles will look like when they come out. The packaging for it will be uh, according to... Uh, the the um, the person that I spoke to uh, at this company, a representative from this company, the packaging for this, uh, they're going to do a very special packaging just for the United States. Uh, I can tell already this is going to be extremely opulent. So let's start with the first one, guys. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's talk about Ambra Oud. First of all, the name Ambra and Oud two of my favorite things, again, in fragrances, amber and oud. So the top notes, real quick, sweet narcotic, cinnamon with nutmeg, berries and figs. 
And then we have a Papanax, Geranium, Lavender, and Amber in the middle. And then we have Agarwood, Blood Orange, uh, looks like Grape, Cinnamon, Mint, Rose, Spices, Leather, White Wood, and Patchouli. So super complex fragrance. Holy cow. Just based on the ingredients alone, just sounds super complex. So let's go ahead and spray that one. Let's go ahead and spray that one right now. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. So that is Ambra Oud. So real quick, I'm going to pull that out. There it is. It's in this bottle right here, guys. Ambra Oud. And these are big enough. I mean, these look like seven and a half ml. And let's go for this. I could tell this is a highly concentrated. Hope you're watching. Deanna, dang, no kidding. Complex, right? Oh, interesting. Really good. Yeah, exactly. Let's throw all the warm scents in one bottle. This has this has definitely definitely a warmth to it. A really nice warmth to it. It's not as I will say it's not as dark. It's not as dark. It's actually fruitier than I expected it to be. And the spices, so the berries and the figs are absolutely there. The mint The mint in this is extremely subdued but there is a creaminess about this and without making it sound bad this is not a bad thing there's a familiar sort of um it doesn't smell like baby powder let me let me go there but something that i'm almost tasting in my mouth has a creaminess of an a talkiness of powder even though there's no it's not this is not a powdery fragrance oh man really really interesting there's nothing else out there like this really there's nothing else out there like this so that's ambra oud okay next on the list guys is hala oud hala oud Okay, really excited about this because I heard these were some of the top ones right here of the brand. So Hala Oud. Hala, I feel like saying Hala. Hala Oud. Okay, so what we have in this is citrus and apple in the top. Saffron, clove, labdanum, cinnamon in the middle. In the base, we have agarwood, sandalwood, and cypriol oil. So, interesting thing about this is that it is not a heavy, heavy oud. So, where some ouds can be really rich and sometimes can turn you off, this is a very wearable oud. The citrus and apple in this are virtually gone within minutes of spraying this. But I do get a lot of clove, not clove, I'm sorry, saffron. I do get the cinnamon. And I get the warmth and creaminess of sandalwood. Again, a very well-made fragrance. I like it. It's definitely good. So far, I'm liking everything that I've sprayed so far. Next is Musk Ambra. Again, I love this because there's, um, there's musk and amber in the name. So chances are this is going to be really good, right? So in the top, here's what's interesting. First of all, look at the color of the juice. Thank you, Fragrance Journey. Appreciate that. So, in the... Ooh, this is interesting. The star. There's Agarwood, Gayak, and Kopahu Balm. So, that's really interesting because I've never smelled Kopahu before. And then there's vanilla in the center here. So it's warm, it's inviting, but the rose is the star. And it's a creamy, sweet rose. So very cool on this scent. This is Musk Umbra. And again, I don't know the price points of these bottles yet. They're in the process of actually figuring, figuring that out. Uh, but I will tell you, just based on this discovery kit, you can imagine 
how beautiful and ornate the packaging will be. And you can see in the picture here what the bottle will look like. So that's the bottle. Uh, beautiful blue bottles. I love that. I love that cobalt blue. That's really pretty. Okay, so speaking of rose, the next fragrance is Shadow of Rose. So this one is Jasmine, Rose, and Lang Lang. The heart is created by Tonka Jasmine Rose, as well as uh, Powdery and Floral Notes. Then there's Heliotrope and Musk. Heliotrope and Musk. So uh, I can already tell this is going to be amazing. So let's go for that real quick. Really interesting that this rose, by the way, Shadow of Rose, it's called Shadow of Rose. Really cool name, by the way. Really interesting that this fragrance does not smell like the other fragrance. The rose in this is different. This is, this is like a powdery floral rose. Really is powdery. It has a powderiness to it. So it's different than the other rose, though. I will say it's different than the other rose. But it's not a bad thing. I have, feel like I have smelled this before, though. It's not a, that's not a bad thing, okay? Next, okay, this is an interesting name. Next is Hexa Modkila. Hexa Modkila. So this one is Peach Blossom Pear Neroli. Uh, this one, yeah, so this one is uh, Peach Blossom Pear Neroli Iris Flower Frangipani Lily Osmantis White Amber Wandelwood and Cedar. So this is going to be a cool one. Let's give this a little try. Oops. Got a little trigger happy on this one. Okay, guys. Sorry, thank you for being patient with me. Lots going on here, very floral. This is a very floral one, the peach blossom, the pear, and then the roly. I could see this being a great summer and spring scent. By the way, all of these are unisex. If anybody's asking this, all of these are unisex. So in fact, let me just see if I could see all my comments there. Yeah. So all of these are unisex. Just wanted to share that with you right now. Okay, so we're moving on to the next next one here. Um, what an interesting name, Hexa Modkila. Um, let me just read why it's called that because this is really unique. Hexa Modkila has been specially concocted to entice the senses of both men and women alike. An oil factory poem of precious woods combined with magnificent patchouli. A patchouli which shines amongst noble fragrance notes. So what's interesting in this is that there's they talk about patchouli in this. But there's no patchouli in this. Okay. I don't know if that was meant for something else. Hopefully these are in the right order. And I apologize if I botch this up. Like I said, this is in real time. This is live. So I apologize if there's any misprints or if there's anything that, that maybe was wrong with this PDF that I'm reading. This is just what I'm reading. So next one that I'm going to be doing is Taizir. Taizir. So let me go to Taizir. All right. Open this little guy up. Patchouli shines, period. It is a distinctive scent. Wow. So Taizir is has a very sharp note that hits you really hard. So, guys, those of you that are watching right now, I want you to leave a comment in this in this thing that are watching right now. 
when I read off the notes, I want you to tell me what this is supposed to resemble. We have bergamot, black currant, apple, and pineapple. That's just in the top. Then we have juniper berries, birch, patchouli, and jasmine in the middle. We have musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla in the base. I will tell you right now, your mind is probably going straight to Aventus. Yes, your mind is going straight to Aventus. And it slightly has that DNA, slightly. But I feel like the, I feel like the ratio that they put in here, great job, Fragrance Journey. Great job, Deanna Anders, too, for clapping. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I feel like, um, although the notes are all pretty much Aventus in this, I feel like they messed around with the ratios of this. So we had different things pop up in this. So that is very unique because this did not smell like a Ventus when I first sprayed it. It, I feel like there is more juniper berry in this. I feel like the ratio of maybe the jasmine, maybe the musk, maybe the oak moss, maybe even the ambergris is different. The pineapple note in this is different. All of this is like everything about this wants to scream like this is a Ventus but it takes a different turn and is not quite 100% Aventus. And I don't think that they wanted to do that because if they did, there's too many people that are doing that. That being said, I do like this and it is, it's a good fragrance and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna like Tizir. Next is Shake Ambra, Shake Ambra. So I'm excited about this one because again, the word Ambra is in it, which tells me there's going to be some kind of amber note in here. So what is the deal with Shake Ambra? Well, we have woody, and this is funny, woody oriental grapefruit, pineapple, again, Pineapple comes back in this. Bergamot. A Papanax. Sandalwood. Amber. Vanilla. Geranium and lavender. We have mint. Cinnamon. Orange. Amber. And taka bean and vanilla. Whoa. Lots of stuff going on here. So. Lots of stuff going on in here. Definitely get the oriental woody going on in here. The grapefruit and the pineapple are virtually not there. The amber vanilla thing is there. Geranium is there, definitely. Lavender is there. The mint is subtle, extremely. Cinnamon is virtually non-existent. Amber and tonka bean vanilla thing that's drying down in here is turning into really something nice. Really like this. So that's uh, that's a great one, especially if you're patient and you wait for the dry down on that one. So great. Next is Leonard, L-E-N-A-R-D, Leonard. Not, not to be confused with Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So we have Tangy Grapefruit. Sweet jasmine, fresh floral, amber, spicy, vanilla. That's Leonard. I'm very curious how they came up with the names. Really, 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 really curious. Hmm. Okay, this is unique. I like where this is headed. This is quite unique. So, got that tangy grapefruit thing going on. Yep, it does sound good. 
amber, spicy, vanilla thing. I could see this turning into something really nice if you wait for it. I like that it has a nice fruity opening with a light floral in the middle. Again, I'm not crazy about florals. Yeah, you feel like I like this the best. Well, there's uh, a bunch more to try out, so we'll see which one I like the best. I do like this one though, so it's good. Leonard is good. Way to go, Leonard. All right. Moving on to the next thing, we have Delora. Delora. And look at the color of this juice. Wow. Delora is black currant and pear, so beautiful fruitiness at the top there. Then we have Irish jasmine orange blossom, and we have vanilla and praline again. Praline makes a comeback in this, so. So this leans on the feminine side, but not in a bad way. In fact, all of these are unisex. I forgot to tell you that. All of these are unisex. This leans a little on the feminine side, but it's not terribly like feminine, you know? It's not it's not crazy like feminine, but it's I could see this being an easy wear for all seasons and it's it's very likable, but it's not terribly, you know, it's not like it it's not earth shattering, earth shattering in the sense of like OMG, this is something new. So very good. What can I say? No, nothing crazy. All right, so next we have Orlina, which is, so let me show you Orlina because we wanna do each one in the order here. Kind of clear liquid there, champagne colored liquid. Orlina. Orlina took a leak a little bit. Sorry, Orlina. I didn't think these were gonna leak, but I, I figured out why they leak a little bit, but that's okay. The only reason why, I mean, these came all the way from Dubai, so they had to use the bathroom, okay? Mm, okay, this is getting really interesting right here. So, Neroli Amalfi Lemon Raspberry thing at the beginning. But then it gets really interesting with uh, Jasmine African Orange flower and gardenia super floral super floral but i feel like there's something dark under it there's patchouli white honey and amber but it's got like so it's floral but it has a dark richness that i would almost get out of some kind of a black orchid feel so it's a creaminess but a richness Really, um, that's a good one. That's a good one, guys. Orlina. Orlina. Okay. Moving on to the next thing, guys. Irish Fair. Irish Fair. Irish Fair. Irish. Irish. F-E-R-R-E. -R -R -E. Irish Fair. So why not? Let's have some Irish Fair. Ooh, interesting, guys. Interesting. As soon as, okay, so before you reading the notes, I can tell you right now, it's got a greenness and earthiness to it. It almost feels like there's a mossiness. So there's juniper berries, amber and leather. Then there's mate, berries, tonka bean and leather. So this definitely feels like a fruity leather but not what you're thinking in the sense of like the, um, not what you're thinking like in the sense of, of um, Tuscan leather, it doesn't go there. I feel like this leather is not as animalic. I feel like this is a light, easy to wear leather. So if you're kind of shy to wear leather because you're worried about smelling like the inside of a handbag, this is not that kind of leather, so you can feel safe with this. It's a very safe leather. Next, we have Al Rasi. Al Rasi. So, I'm going to go ahead and spray this little guy right here. Al Rasi. 
we have, and here's what it looks like, by the way, very clear. I'm not a fan of, not a big leather fan. You know, I wasn't either until I smelled some really good stuff out there. And now I'm starting to like leather and I'm very picky about my leather. Really picky about my leather. Alrasi, Alrasi is bergamot and cherry at the top. Is, does it smell like lost cherry? If you're asking right now, nope, does not. Jasmine, carnation, lily of the valley, lang lang. And I feel like that's on there twice. So for the heart and the base. Hmm, this is getting woody. It's an oriental floral but I do get a little bit of woodiness to it and spice. I feel like there's something peppery in this. So it's an interesting scent. I've never smelled anything like it, so that's a good sign. All right. Next is the Spirit of Elegance. Spirit of Elegance. So here's what it looks like. This is what I look like when I'm smelling the spirit of elegance. Ooh, this is cool. This is cool, guys. Clary, sage, lavender, bitter almond, vanilla, leather, orris, tonka bean, leather, cashmere, amber, white wood. So they refer to this as sweet and leathery. I will tell you guys that is not leathery, not leathery. It is sweet and fruity, but it's extremely, yeah. Let me get rid of this finger because this one has some oil on it. This is not leathery, guys, not at all. Oh, beautiful, interesting and beautiful. Fruity. Sort of a, uh, with the sage thing going on. It's got an herbal thing, but it's ever so slight. And a sweetness. So it's a fruity, sweet, herbal, but no leather whatsoever. Okay, the next one is Challenging Game. Challenging Game. Uh, and this is, uh, okay, let's go for Challenging Game. Let's take a look at this one. Challenging game. We have notes of, <clears throat> with challenging game, we have notes of orange, lemon, grapefruit, and flint. Flint, interesting, like a rock that you strike a match or whatever. Black pepper, pink peppercorn, geranium, patchouli, cedar, vetiver, benzoin. Really, this one feels cool. This is a really neat fragrance. There is a, there is a, this is an, I feel like this is aromatic. This is woody. Yeah, so it's a woody, I think it's a woody, spicy, aromatic. Feels great. I feel this leans more masculine. Definitely leans more masculine. And I feel like this could be um, a great uh, office fragrance and even a possibly even something like for um, maybe a date night. It's not it's not a rich, sweet, sugary, ambery fragrance, but I could feel like this could be a good, very good, pretty masculine fragrance. If that even makes sense. All right. Secret Adventure is the next one. Secret Adventure. Where are you? There you are. Secret Adventure. There it is. Sorry about the focusing. So, this one sprung a leak. That's all right. There we go. Yeah, some of these, you know, had to use the bathroom. They they had a lot of travel, you know? Ooh, now we talking leather, guys. Ho oh, oh. ho! Hello. This is legit hardcore. 
The initial blast is leather at the top. We're talking a dry, I'm gonna say a dry leather, but like we're talking like a nice aged leather couch. Like you could smell the 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 saddle or couch leather or whatever. Like like you like this couch has been in the family forever, but it's like leathery and picked up a lot of the smells from the house. We have patchouli, cypress, vetiver, and goldenwood. So Secret Adventure is uh is a powerful fragrance very powerful fragrance so that is a very interesting powerful leather fragrance so i think you guys are gonna dig that if you're into leather so you knew it'd be leather you knew it you knew it you knew it you're so smart i think i got them all I think I got them all. So, do I have a favorite? Uh, yeah, you know what? That's a good, that would be a great scent for Indiana Jones because it would smell like his leather jacket and his hat. Do I have a uh, favorite? Um, probably the Musk Ambra, which definitely reminds me of of a rose fragrance that I've smelled before. The Hala Oud. I did like that. And that one's... Poor guy. He's been waiting this whole time to use the bathroom. But Hala, sorry, you have to, you have to hold it in a little longer. So we have that. And... Uh, yeah, Secret Adventure was like totally crazy how leathery that one was. That's pretty much all of it. That was all of it, guys. I just did all 16 fragrances for you. And uh, it was quite an experience, I will tell you. It was quite an experience. And uh, that is, that's my box. And I'm sorry, what you see here is just my fingers are covered in fragrance. So that's why you see the little wet spot there. But anyway, there you go, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to this live. This is my first ever YouTube live. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you again in another video. So thanks again, everybody. And uh, hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye-bye.